Good afternoon, everybody. It's Saturday, and it is uh, hotter than all get out here. It's Well, it's not hotter than all get out. It's, it's in the 80s. But the humidity makes it feel like it's 100. I feel like I'm starting to be like my son-in-law. He, like, every day chants about the weather. Oh, I still got my sticker on my glasses. I mean, he's constantly saying what the weather's going to be, what the weather's going to be in a half an hour. It's enough to make you crazy. But anyway, it is... Uh, the bad thing about today is it's... Um, a very bad air quality day because of the uh, fires up in Canada. So they're coming down this way again. And so that kind of messes things up for me. But what's you going to do, right? So today for you, I have a Timu haul. I've got three different orders. And uh, I've been placing like little orders. And I, then they stack up. So I... Excuse me, I gotta blow my nose. Me and Dee both have this problem. Very annoying. So, um, I thought I'd get this out of the way. Um, first things first, I wanted to tell you or remind you that I will be having a sale with Maria from uh, the California Thrifter on Wednesday. I believe I said 3 o'clock, but she said 3, but that she was saying it for the Eastern time. It is 3 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Central. Uh, and on and on and on. So if you know what time zone you're in, you can figure it out. For me, it'll be 2 o'clock. General Hospital time. Dang. Why is this on my lap? Do you know what, guys? And nobody's ever said anything, bless your hearts. But I swear I see a mustache growing here. I don't know what that is. Um, that's something else. Might be where I bit my lip the other day. Anyway, um, yeah, it's one of the bad things about getting old. The whole mustache thing doesn't really, doesn't really make me happy, you know? Oh, well, what are you going to do? So, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. So I've been doing some things, trying to put things away, straighten up. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to make some soup. Uh, it's Saturday. Normally Ron and I would have... Well, actually Ron is busy today. He is uh, preaching tomorrow. And I want to say it's a... I can't think of the name of the church, like United Christian Church or something. And it's a church that is in cahoots. <laughs> They're together with Presbyterians. So he can also preach to these churches. And our pastor contacted this pastor. This pastor was looking for somebody for a few, several weeks because he was going to be out of town. And Ron said he would for two weeks. So it's this week and next week. So he's tweaking his sermon and stuff like that. And uh, so we probably wouldn't have went anywhere anyway. Um, which is a shame because it's a good day for yard sailing. But we'll just have to do it next weekend. If he's got his sermon ready. If not, we won't do it. Unless I can get somebody else to go with me. So anyway, that's how... That's how things are going here. So, uh, that's one thing. And uh, I could have went to talk to my brother today because they were having a birthday party for my nieces. So, it'd be great nieces, kids. It, they would be my great nephews. However, um, I couldn't go because of Ron. But that's my brother, Rocky, that I wanted to talk to about what day we could go. Maybe this, I'm hoping this coming week now we'll be able to go and look at the uh, 
booths at the antique mall and see what if we want you know one of them there and so that's that and then the other day this is such a kind of a sad story my friend from high school my she was one of my best friends there was three of us that hung together and this particular friend um her husband passed away uh, i guess about a year ago now and she would call me from time to time seeing sounding kind of you know sad and stuff like she was reaching out to me and i didn't really wasn't very helpful so a year ago one day i get a uh, i think it was a text from her saying that her husband had passed away well I was horrified because I felt like I hadn't been a very good friend to her. And it was weird because her and I met this guy the same night at her. She had, a, her and her sister had a New Year's Eve party. And he came with his friend and him and my friend got together that night. They started talking and, and they were married over 25 years. Heck, they were married maybe 50 years. It was a long time. Oh, yeah, it was way over 25 years. It'd be like 50 years. And um, so she's been calling me. She ended up, uh, her. she sold her house that they lived in the whole time they were married, practically. And uh, pretty much got rid of everything. Her daughter moved into an apartment in Chicago. And, um, you know, we've been talking from time to time. But she said, I, when I talked to her a couple of days ago, she says, man, I'm pooped. My kid has got me running all the time, doing this, doing that. She says, I've never, I have not had this much fun in years. I haven't laughed this much in 10 years, probably. And so, you know, she's very happy. She was up in Wisconsin on this vacation. Well, yesterday morning, I get a text from her daughter on her phone saying that she had fallen, I think, down the stairs. I think she was just in her stocking feet, fell down the stairs. She broke her ribs and the vertebrae in her neck. And she was in a hospital. I'm not sure where, if she was in Illinois or in Wisconsin. But she was in the surgical ICU. I don't know. Still don't know what they're going to do. If they're just. But she said she would be there for a while. Some She'd be at the hospital for some time. So I don't know if they're going to do surgery. I don't know if they're going to. What they're doing yet. Um, I got a little bit of a. Uh, you know. I got a text today with a little bit more news uh she said that she was feeling a little bit better and mentally she her attitude was a little bit better because she had to be absolute besides being in a lot of pain she had to be devastated here she was happy as could be and boom so now she's bedridden so yeah so i've been pretty bummed about that and our other friend that was the trio of us she, i I uh, sent her a message and let her know. And, uh, yeah, so we're, you know, it's kind of a bummer. But, you know, I don't know what you can do about it. Be safe when you're old. You gotta be safe. She was probably horsing around. God, I hope not. Hope she wasn't playing with the grandkids or something. All right, on that cheery note, <laughs> I'm going to start my team of Paul. Um, this is the first bag. And I always open them up, make sure everything's in there. And there's some people, they won't open it until they're right in front of everybody. I don't understand that one. But, um, the first thing I got, and I'm going to pull them out, are these, the petunias. Yep. And they are grumpily bumpily. I'm going to have to really work with them to get them 
opened up good. But, um, they're for a hanging planter. And I did finally find a hanging planter over at uh, Dollar Tree. Because I, I thought they came in the hanging planter and they didn't. So, this is them. And I'm going to have to play with them. But, I mean, they look just like petunias. And honestly, these things, they look pretty, they look real, all their flowers, because when we drive up to the house, the ones I got up front, they look real. They're different flowers, but, so yeah. So that is that, I'll fiddle with them in a little while. You know, so that, whatever. I still got all kinds of stuff here I need to put away and put, where it belongs. And the next thing is these, which I already asked for a refund because they said they would fit a TV remote and they do not. Like cable TV remote. So I don't know what kind of remotes you got in China, but they don't work here. So, I guess, you know, maybe a regular TV remote they might work. Because they are sometimes lower. But I'll just keep them. And if anybody can use them, I'll find out. I also got to start right. You know, when you like something, you just have a tendency to keep ordering it, right? Well, I got two of these. There's another one in here. One of them I was going to give to my friend. And one I was going to give to uh, myself. Well, as I was putting some jewelry away the night before last, I said, what is this? No, it was last night. What is this here? Well, I'll be darned. It's another set of this. Because I think they're so pretty. There's a, um, there's a link chain and like a herringbone. And then this one here is stretched, but it's real nice. So with the three of mine, it looks so pretty. Real pretty. So I said, could I be any more, could I be any more goofy? Then I go and I, I'm watching on TV, warning signs of if you have dementia. And I'm like, I have that. No, I don't have that. <laughs> you know, arguing with myself. The next thing I got to put on the mirror of our car. Then I remembered Ron hates shit flipping and flopping on the car. Oops. Stuff. So, I'll find a place for it, but it looks like banded almost. And it says, admit it, life would be boring without me. Isn't that the cutest darn thing? So, I really want that on my, on the mirror, but I know Ron's going to probably put a poo-poo to that. We'll see. He's really not any fun, you know? All right. So, what did I just drop? I don't know. I just dropped something. All right. Get up there and sit down. Now, the next things I got were a good deal. I hope these are like I like them. Um, I like a very thick lead, and if I can find a 0.9 or a 1.0, which is really rare, I'm very happy. This is a 2.0. Not only did I get the pencil, which I'm looking for paper right now. I see some. Um, it's a really nice one, you know, nice pencil. But... They sent me with lead, too. Which I thought was really nice, because it's pretty rare that you get... Let me see if I can get this out. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So... Let me 
going to write with it or something. Okay. It doesn't feel real, real soft, really. But you might have to write with it for a bit before. Because they got them all sharpened, and I don't, I don't like them sharpened either. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I never, I never sharpen them. I sharpen wood pencils, but not mechanical pencils. So that is that one. And it was only like a couple of dollars. It, it, when I show one of the things to you today, I'll explain to you why I don't ever tell, tell you prices because they change so often now this one came with a bunch of stuff. I mean a bunch of stuff. Be a nice little gift for somebody. Because you can get different thicknesses. It came with oh geez. Well, I just lost. It came with four things of lead. One for each pencil. Except for, I don't know where the other pencil went to. Unless it went to the floor as well. Oh, I was supposed to be four pencils. And then it came with a little eraser. And a little tiny pencil sharpener. Well, that's when I decided, oh, they must sharpen their pencils. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Real nice. So I'm real happy with that. I just have to get them all. All back together again. Can't get over that pencil sharpener. That's pretty funny. All right. I write with a pencil almost all the time. Unless it's something I have to have a, a write with a pen. I, I prefer writing with pencils. I always... I almost say always have... And then I found a 1.0 pen at Dollar Tree the other day. I was surprised. <clears throat> All right. Moving right along. Here's the other bracelet. Okay. I got four of these, a red, a blue, and a green. These are for my daughter. And the pink one is for me. It's like a pinky purple. These are <clears throat> I also bought a ring that I didn't get. If I did, I can't find it. I've looked and looked and looked. I don't find it in the bag. Here it is. Here it is. Um, these. Hmm. Are really cool. Now. You wouldn't. You'd want one for every. If they're for perfume. You'd want one for every perfume that you would want to use. 
you wouldn't want to like use this for say Chanel number five and then when that's gone use it for something else but what you do with these is I guess you take the lid off I was hoping they had a no you take the atomizer you take your cap off the atomizer the spray cap here and you you stick it on here and you fill it and it has a fill line and then you have one you can carry around in your purse i thought that was pretty darn clever and like i said you know if you have more than one that you want to um to carry around more than one or like you know you with my daughters my one daughter has we all have different perfumes if you wanted to trade you know like get a sample of whatever one of theirs and whatnot i thought that, I, that was cool i thought it was cool all right stay there and then i ordered two rings um i'm having the worst luck finding rings that are the right size so i today ordered i have a ring sizer i just gotta locate it today i put in my order for the next order uh a thing called a mandrel that will size your own what rings you already have and then i can figure out what size i have already because this one i couldn't wear I, I had it resized i believe and now i can wear it this one is a size 10. i wanted some big enough to wear like on you know like on my middle finger and stuff like that now this one fits real comfortably on my middle finger um it does not fit on my thumb. It's too loose. Definitely on these fingers. These fingers are a little bit smaller. So it does fit on this one though. And then I got this one, which is a silver one and it's a size 11. Hmm. So, I'm going to say it doesn't fit on anything. Unless I want to do it like that. It would be kind of hard to do things, so. But it would work. Or maybe I'll sell it in one of my sales. So, the silver one is an 11. And the gold one is a 10. But I bought some that were smaller that I wanted to use for other fingers and they wouldn't work. So I don't know. I don't get it, but I will wear this one. All right. So much for that. So I know that one fits. I'll keep this just like so make a little notation of this. All right. We're going to take a breather here. I'm going to put this stuff in the bag. We're gonna I'm gonna show you the three pieces of clothing I've got. Um, I got this black kimono. Now it's been so many prices, but um I ended up getting it, it was up to th six something, and I checked out the price. Because you can check and see if they've reduced it. And I ended up getting this for $3.61. And I was so excited because it's got like black chenille little puffs on the outside. It's just so cute. 
and I didn't have a black kimono solid, so I thought that was really cute. And I got this dress. I've not tried the dresses on yet, but pretty sure they'll fit. This one is like a rainbowy colors. And it has pockets. It's very wrinkled from coming out of the package. It does have pockets, which are nice. Put your wadded up Kleenex in there. <laughs> but yeah, and I like the little um, like pleats at the top. Talk set at the top. So I've got that one. And oh, the other one's still in the bag. They come in a bag like this. I believe I've showed you the bags before. This one is a sleeveless dress. Since we've been having such horrendous heat off and on. I thought, hey, why not? This one looks a lot like a, a top I bought. And this one looks like this. Top has the like gold lace. I, my arms aren't real big at the top. So I'm worried that these are gonna be too big by quite a bit, but they might not be too bad. But what I thought was I can always wear that kimono, which really is not putting any weight on my arms over it. So that could hide the looseness or something. I'll see when I try it on. Maybe I should do a try on of all my stuff I bought. I don't know. There's a lot of gutsy ladies out there that are doing it, but I, I don't know. I don't know how gutsy I am. All right. That's all the clothes I bought. I've been like getting one thing here, one thing there. The next bag I got, I don't even know if these are in the right bags, but I think they are. Um, I have a lot of, I have a couple of things out already, so I'll just touch them on them first. First thing I got was this mini iron. And I saw, was so excited when I saw these because I, there's a guy going on his Harley down the driveway. Um, I was going to buy at like the Goodwill curling iron um, to use this for like when you're um, doing crafts and if you're using ribbon and it's gotten wrinkled or um, when I'm going to be doing this uh, um, crazy quilt for Sarah. You know, I, you need to press down the seams. Well, I don't need to drag up my big iron and ironing board for that. I can just use this little tiny thing. And I read a lot of the reviews. They say it gets, you know, hot and everything. So I think that's going to be fine. It's got the instructions in the bottom of the box. So I thought that was a cool little thing. And then I got this, which I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if I can use it. Um, do you remember those of you that are more my age? I don't know. Maybe they, well, no, because they still sell in places. <clears throat> that when he went to the drive-in movie, they had the picks, pick um, mosquito repellent. And you would light it. You'd sit up on the dash and... It would burn and it would get rid of the, it would like, it was like insect repellent, mosquito repellent. Well, this is to hold one, hold them. Now, oddly enough, it's just the thing. There's no picks to go with it. 
So I have to buy the picks. I'm gonna, I just saw them on sale somewhere. I don't recall where. But you just put it in there and you put the little lid on top. So I'll be on the lookout because everybody was complaining about the mosquito chest. It's got a couple of dings in it because, of course, the bags aren't very protective. But I'll probably complain about that. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't hurt anything. So I can't see complaining about everything, although they should have enough sense. I hate the complaints they've gotten in the past to know not to. Sorry. Goodness sakes, I'm not, have a hernia over that. Um, not to continue to put everything in bags, but maybe it's still cheaper than boxing. Now this thing I got, I didn't know if it'd be any good. I just thought it wasn't, oh, it was only a couple, maybe like 250. I thought I'll try it. This is a one power reader. You can use it if, from 0.5 to 2.5 volt. And I let Sarah try it, who wears a smaller dosage, like one something, and Doug, who wears a higher one. And I, my, I wear a 2.50. Now it says they're uh, unisex because they're, you know, kind of. But I put them on. And they're perfectly clear. It's strange how they adjust. They're almost better than regular glasses. I don't know. It's just strange. So I did get those. I'll probably put them in a, a special glasses case so I'll know which ones they are. I should carry these in my purse. And then, because it never fails, somebody's saying, Oh, I already forgot my glasses. And then I have some. I could be the great provider for people. That's how I am. These look better. And feel much better. Okay, I lied about clothing. Because I lied. I got more clothing. These, I didn't try on yet either. I, I see a big try on coming on here. These are a pair of, and they seem awfully large. I think I may have over, overshot my size. I really do. They seem good here in the length and everything, but they just seem awfully wide. If they're too wide, I can always, you know, take them in or something. But I like them because they have the cute little ties that you, um, let me see if I can do it here. You like ruffle them up and then tie them. I thought that was cute. And you probably say to me, what does she need all them clothes for? Where is she going? You know what? I don't get to do anything else. Most of the time, I don't get to go anywhere or do anything, but I get to shop. And clothing takes up a lot less room than some of the other things. And the good thing is I don't have, you know, like I had a lot of clothes that didn't fit anymore. I don't have to sit and go, oh shoot, what am I gonna wear? I always have clean clothes on. I always have something to wear. That, and I have appropriate things. I have dresses. I've got the right things. Because usually I'd have to be running out, buying a dress, buying this, buying that. Well, I don't have to do that. All right. Sit there, you orange bag, you. Now, the next thing I got 
is, I thought I would try this. It is a HydroCare Facial Moisturizer Water Gel Cream. My daughter pays like 20 some dollars, maybe 30 for a little small jar of, I want to say it's Neutrogena, but it's gel, water gel moisturizer. And I thought, it seems like an awful lot of money. So I was looking, I could, I found one for like 19 at Walgreens. It was another brand, might've been their brand. So I saw this and I thought, well, plus it's got 1.5% hyaluronic acid. Ron likes to say that from the one commercial, regeneration and repair. And the cool thing, the package, well, the pack of the box isn't anything, but the, you know, the container looks nice. And I opened it up first. And I smelled it, and it smells real clean. And it looks kind of like a gel, like a gel cream. But the thing is, this this lid comes off, and it has a top like this. Now, I don't know if any of you ever bought these things over at uh, Dollar Tree where you'd put a liquid in, and you could tap on it, and you know, use it with a cotton ball or whatever. Well, that's what this is. You tap on it. And it brings out the stuff. And you put it on. And it feels so nice. I hadn't put any on my face yet, but I had put it on the backs of my hands it made the backs of my hands feel so soft and nice. So, I'm going to have my daughter try it tonight. I would say it's going to take two little taps for me. But I'm not going to put it on now. Cause... But, it, I mean, it's just like your face is like, like butter. It's so soft. So, I'm excited about that. I, I finally bought, found some things. I bought things for me, you know? The things I really wanted to get. Now, the next... Ooh, let's put it up here. Uh, the next thing I got was... Uh, both Ron and my son-in-law use... I think it's called Crew that we buy at the beauty shop. And I'm sure it's not cheap. And it's just, well, Ron used to use uh, uh, VO5 when I met him. It's just hair grease. So I bought him this one, which is called Professional Hair Pomade in a jar like this and just like the one they use it doesn't smell like anything now this is like hard the one they use is like Vaseline hmm this would be good though so that's one of them Uh, if they don't work, I guess I could use them. I don't know. I don't know. And the other one comes here. It's edge control, no residue, stronghold. No. Very impressive black jar. And this is like what they normally use. It's like gooey. Ooh, 
it smells good too. Yeah, it smells really good. Now, before we have an accident day here, you can get me a Kleenex. Excuse me, guys. I don't want that all over everything. Yep, that one's pretty good. So, probably they'll like that one and they probably won't like it. Because they like greasy stuff. Alrighty. Moving on. What else do we have in this one? Well, I still haven't got my ears repaired, but I did buy these for when I do. Which I thought they were awfully cute. And they say jingle jingle. I like them. Now, this other thing, I have no clue what it is. I don't remember ordering it. I don't know if it's something free they threw in. I don't know. Well, it's a necklace. Oh, it's a Christmas necklace. And that was the chain. It's the, it's like, um, uh, what are those characters? Precious Moments. It's the Precious Moments and it's, it's in a wing, angel wings. It's the nativity. Yeah, it's a necklace. I kept saying, what is that? I can't tell. It was real cheap. All right. I'll be digging around out of floor for an hour looking for all these fallen items. Okie dokie. Let's put all this jazz in a bag. Get it off the table. And I showed it to Ron, I said, you're not gonna believe how much stuff is in this. That one dress, the sleeveless dress, that was in here. I, they jam it in, I don't know how they get it all in. I wouldn't even want that job, I'll tell you. Um, the first thing I got, and I wanna say it was in plastic and it was open like this. Is a necklace for my granddaughter. It's got a little, um, like Saturn with a star on it. It says, when you feel overwhelmed, don't forget that you are my granddaughter. You are the most special star in the universe. Always believe in yourself. I squeezed this necklace really tight and filled it with my love and light. If I'm ever not here and you need a hug, just hold this close to feel my love. I thought it was very sweet. And it is for my granddaughter, Tori. And I will be sending it to her very soon. Okay, so that was that. Hilarious. 
I knew I was needing blue tape. I was almost out. I don't know where the board was. It must be in the kitchen. For pricing, what I that's what I use to price my um, stuff for sales. And I didn't know if I'd be out, you know, I'd, or I'd forget. So I just happened to see it. So I ordered it from Timo. This is what I got. Um, I hope it's good. Seems to be. Seems to work good. I can't put it on my wrist though like I normally do. And they had it in this little bag. And this, we just open it and leave it in here. This is a remainder of my pack, my orders. Which I need to desperately organize and clean up better. These are labels I bought to put on packages. And they're in like a rose gold and they just say thank you. I did not remember ordering this particular one, but who knows what I ordered. It depends on the time of day or night. And this, I think is very pretty. I mean, I won't wear it till it gets cold out till fall, but it is pretty. Hope it doesn't bother you the way my voice is sounding so Horse all the time, but I, I can't, I don't know what to do about it. But this necklace came on a card, of course, and uh, it does have a clasp, has a clasp like this, and it looks like this. Let me put it here. Isn't that gorgeous? It's quite heavy, you know, it's not light. It will look pretty on sweaters or just anything and it's longer so so yeah I thought that was very pretty it's made real nice it's real heavy made real nice and I didn't start out I suppose I should have as to what is Timu? And Timu is a company that is overseas in China that sells everything. Still today, every day I think of something and I'll look it up. Now, granted, there's a lot of things they don't sell. I looked up yamakas and they didn't have them. <laughs> and I was disappointed. But they do have, I mean, they do have a few, you know, they have religious items, a few of, uh, quite a few religions. Um, they have, well, you saw little appliances, um, uh, supplies for schools, supplies for offices. They have bulk items you can buy. They have bulk craft items you can buy. Um, they don't sell anything food related, but you know, they sell um, cosmetics and makeup, um, jewelry, je things to clean your jewelry, um, things to clean your house. They got a multitude of stuff to clean your house. Um, they have a lot of um, artificial flowers and whatnot. They have clothing for every size you can think of. For big people like me, little bitty skinny winny people, babies, kids, men, um, shoes. Oh, if, if you got a shoe fit, you know, a thing for shoes, just spend a week on just looking at shoes. I'm telling you what, you could go crazy. 
My mother would have spent a million dollars on shoes. She was a shoe freak. Uh, purses. I used to be, used to be a purse freak. I would have bought every purse on there. There's one right now. I'm every time I turn it on, I swear it's on that, th on that purse, and I am trying really hard not to buy it. I want it real bad. I really want it bad. But um, it, it's just got everything, and uh, it, it's an app on your phone. I mean, you don't have to buy anything. You don't. But it's nice to have on your app in case you need something like blue tape you know what if I couldn't have got out and got it really so far I haven't got out and got it so it was a good thing it came um gifts I you know you can buy lots and lots of gifts lots and lots and lots of gifts because they have toys they have gifts for everybody men women dogs cats children um so you know if if you do a lot of online shopping or you do a lot of, um, I know that it was the Amazon week or, or Amazon days, but you know, if you do a lot of, of buying online, I mean, I know that a lot of stores are closing because people are buying their stuff off their online sites. <clears throat> Give this, this, uh, team a look. It's, it's, it's worth it. And if if you don't like it, you don't have to buy anything. You know, that's all there is to it. And I know a lot of people are probably saying, but it's from China. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I was looking at one of my prescriptions on the box. And it said, you know, it was, it came from New Jersey, made in China. I would say probably 90% of the stuff that we purchased, excluding food, comes from China. We do get a lot of food from other countries, but I don't think we get that much from China. But I tell you what, we do get a lot of stuff from China. And uh, so, you know, I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to buy from them. But I guarantee you, if you're buying something at most other stores, even even uh, some of your, uh, certainly your big box stores, but even some of your higher end stores, you're probably getting stuff from China. So with that cheery note, I'm going to take my friend. I'm going to get going because I got to put all this away. And I have to uh, get my soup started. I have to go in the kitchen and get busy on, on my stuff and cleaning up and I think I'm going to make a uh, strawberry cobbler or it might be strawberry peach cobbler not sure which yet. but I hope you have a great rest of your day I hope you have a good Sunday and I will probably I'll probably see you again before Wednesday but if not I will hope to see those of you who don't, do not work that I'll see you on Wednesday at 2 o'clock Central Time. And in the meantime, I love you guys. And uh, I'm glad I'm back to seeing you more regularly. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.